Hi everyone, welcome back to Music Body Minds YouTube channel. My name is Amelia and today I'm going to talk to you about a topic that is very important to me, neck stretches and neck mobility exercises for musicians. When I was in my undergraduate trombone performance degree, I experienced a neck injury that was due to playing with incorrect posture. I'll have an entire video about my injury out soon in the future, but for now I'll give you a little bit of detail. I was playing with my neck tilted to one side and my chin jutting forward to meet my mouthpiece. And over time, playing like this all the time, created, actually caused my neck to realign itself. And this of course resulted in a lot of pain. It took me over a year to get back into playing full time again once I started the healing process from that injury. These stretches and exercises helped me recover from my injury and they're what I do now every single day before I play my instrument to keep my spine healthy so I can play without pain. If you are experiencing pain while you're playing your instrument, first check out your posture. Incorrect posture is the number one reason for tension and pain while we play our instruments. If you're interested in this topic, I have an entire trombone posture YouTube video. I will link it below. Check that out. When we play forward facing instruments or asymmetrical instruments, it's really easy to get out of that correct alignment. So just be very, very cautious of that. Here are the exercises that I do every single day to keep my neck healthy as a trombonist. Let's get started. Something that is often overlooked when we're dealing with any type of neck issue is actually your shoulders. Your shoulders and neck are connected, so a lot of the neck issues that we deal with are actually from tension that we hold in our shoulders. So first, let's go into some gentle shoulder stretches and rolls by drawing your shoulders up towards your ears and then back and down, breathing deeply in and out. And do this a few times. Really just notice how it feels in there. Does it feel a little creaky today? Can you make these shoulder rolls as smooth as possible, working out all of those creaks? Let's do two more. Big breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Roll those shoulders back and down. Another nice shoulder exercise is to draw your shoulders all the way up towards your ears on an inhale. And then exhale, drop them all the way down. Let's do that a couple times. So inhale, and then forceful exhale. One more of those. Inhale, and exhale. Nice, and just give your shoulders a little shake side to side. Now we'll start combining both the neck and the shoulders. So take your right shoulder all the way forward and take your left shoulder all the way forward, drawing the opposite shoulder back at the same time. And then as your right shoulder comes forward, your left shoulder goes back, look towards your right shoulder, and then switch to the other side. Left shoulder comes forward, right shoulder moves back, look towards your left shoulder. So you're always looking forward towards that front shoulder. And move very slowly, find your breath while you're doing this. And do as many of these when you're doing this by yourself as you'd like to. And you'll start to feel a little bit of openness creep into your shoulders, your neck. The more you move, the more you breathe. Let's do one more here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come right back to the center. So now we'll start to get into the mobility of our neck, moving into all of the different ranges of motion of our neck. So from the center, take a really big breath in, lengthen tall through your spine. Then as you exhale, drop your chin down towards your chest. On your inhale, look all the way up towards the ceiling, lift your chin as high as you can. And then exhale, release all the way back down. So we'll be doing this a few times, moving from your chin and towards your chest to your chin, reaching all the way up towards the ceiling. And while you're doing this, be very mindful. If there's any tension or pain, don't push past your limit. Listen to your body and it will tell you if you can go deeper or not. Do one more of these. Drop your chin all the way in towards your chest and then lift all the way back up and let's pause here at the top because it just feels so good to open up everything from your 
throat, to your chest, to your shoulders. Draw those shoulders back a little bit more. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Whew, come right back to the center. Nice. So same concept here. We'll start in the middle. Lengthen tall through your spine. Inhale. And this time as you exhale, look over your right shoulder. So chin looks directly towards the right side. Inhale. Come back through to the center. And exhale over your left shoulder and keep doing this side to side again moving nice and slowly just noticing how one side might feel different than the other I know that one side of my neck always feels a little bit more restricted than the other side and you can always feel free to pause on one side and breathe there for a couple breaths if you feel like there's some tension that needs to be let out with your breath. Let's do it one more time, back and forth. And when you're done, come all the way back to the center, take a deep breath in, and exhale. Release. So the next range of motion, we're going to add a static stretch to it as well. So as you inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, drop your right hand to the left side of your head and gently tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder. Now this can be pretty intense in this side of the neck right here. So breathe deeply. This top hand is not pulling down on your head. It's just a nice little weight to help guide you into the stretch. So we can always take that weight off if it's too much and maybe gently pull on your left shoulder instead. Wherever you are, drop your shoulders down. Breathe for a couple more breaths. And then inhale, come back up to the center and exhale, release. Then inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, your left ear towards your left shoulder. And remember, remember again to drop both shoulders down. Take some deep breaths in and out. You can always take that top hand off if it's too much. Maybe pull that right shoulder down for an extra stretch. Two more breaths. And gently release that. Come all the way back up to the top. Just take a breath in and breath out and notice how you feel. Sometimes it's nice to move your head very gently around, kind of like a bobblehead, trying to be as loose as possible in your neck. Another stretch that I love to do that has a little bit more to do with the shoulders but also greatly benefits the neck is taking your hands behind your back and interlacing your fingers just like this behind your back and then roll your shoulders back and down. Press your fists back and down away from your body so your shoulders pull down away from your ears. This creates a lot of length in your neck. And then if you want to add more, lift your chin up towards the ceiling and breathe for a couple breaths, pulling all of that tension down away from your neck. Let's take one more deep breath in and then exhale. Gently the final next stretch that I'm going to show you actually requires you to stand up. So go ahead and stand up. The importance of this is that we are going to fold forward and doing so helps us release all of this tension and strain in our neck because no longer do we have to hold up our head. Gravity can just pull all of that weight downward and that helps all of this release. To get into this forward fold, stand with your feet hip distance apart, softly bend your knees, then reach your arms up towards the ceiling, inhale, and as you exhale, fold forward and just let your head release all the way down. And it doesn't matter how far you fold forward, what matters is that your neck is completely relaxed. So take some time to nod your head yes, shake your head no side to side a couple times, Sometimes it's nice to grab opposite elbows and maybe swing side to side, but we're focusing on just letting gravity pull everything down. And over a few breaths, you'll start to notice that your neck releases as your body realizes it doesn't have to hold up your head anymore. My favorite variation for this pose is to take my hands behind my neck, interlaced fingers, 
and place your hands on the back of your neck and gently pull down on the base of your skull. So actually press in a little bit with the palms of your hands and then pull down so there's a little bit of traction there. And breathe deeply. You can also add a little bit of a neck massage by dipping your thumbs and running them up and down your neck. And that always feels so nice. When you're ready to come out of it, slowly lift up halfway. Take your hands to your hips and then rise all the way back up to a stand. And that is my favorite, favorite exercise to do in the middle of a practice session when I have my trombone and I'm playing a lot. If I need a break and I need my neck to relax, I actually just take my trombone into my hands like this and I just fold straight forward and release my neck all the way down. So get upside down. Try it next time you're practicing. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you found this video helpful and I wish you the best of luck in keeping your neck healthy as a musician. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay updated with all the musician wellness videos that I will continue to post. Stay updated with my Instagram and Facebook pages throughout the week for more content. Until next time, namaste.